Hello everyone, welcome to our very first tutorial here at Gonink Design and Print, the how-to of graphic design. We're going to start off today uh, with a very simple task of how to make a simple drop shadow. Basically drop shadows are quite common on the web and sometimes found in print, but we don't often see it or recommend it just because of the reproduction of the drop shadow. It's more uh, applicable to web design or mobile devices such as your cell phones and whatnot. So anyways, we're going to start off with this little square here, and of course it has to be going ink green, and we want to add a drop shadow. If we go down here to this, this is an add a layer style, and we are in Photoshop, by the way. And if we click on that, it brings up a list, and guess what? There's a drop shadow. But it doesn't just add a simple drop shadow, it brings up this dialog box with all sorts of options. Uh, in this simple uh, add a layer style, add a layer style, we can adjust the distance, size, opacity, angle, and even the color of the shadow. So here's your opacity. So if we move this out of the way a little bit, and you'll see the shadow down here is applied, and we crank the opacity down, you can see it gets a little bit more gray. It's probably hard to see on your screen. Here we have the angle. Basically, the angle determines which way it goes, is, is the simplest way to say it. And then you have your size, how big it is. And as you can see, the bigger you get, the more it blurs out. So if you bring it down to about that size, that's typical of what you'll see on the web. Distance, of course, will mean how far your shadow is away from your uh, original box. There, you can see we can move it away or bring it in closer. So if we go ahead and leave it right there, hit OK, there's a simple drop shadow. Now there's also a way we can do it that uh, gives us pretty much the same control. We'll delete that style off of there, and we're just going to duplicate this box right here. And as you see, these layers are stacked one on top of each other. I'm just going to go ahead and bring the copy down. I just, for some reason, like to have the copy below. And then I'm going to select that. I'm going to change it to black. So now you can see over here in the far right-hand side, we have a black and a green square. And we have that black square selected. So if we move it like this, you can see we have a drop shadow. But it looks a little blocky. So if we go up to Filter, which you can't quite see, but you should see the drop-down window. And this Gaussian Blur, we could use Blur, but it doesn't give us as much control as the Gaussian Blur, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. By control, I mean this radius. If we crank up the radius, it really blurs it out. But if I crank it way down, it pretty much takes it back to solid. So let's go back to about the 4.8. Looks pretty good. Still a little black, though, so why don't we lighten it up a little bit when we go up here to Opacity. Bring it down just a little bit more doesn't look too bad but what if we want the shadow to come up over here in the top left simple you can see I still have the black square selected over here in the left and all I have to do is drag it and there's your shadow so for our first uh, how to of graphic design that's what we're going to show you and uh, we appreciate you stopping by and hope to come back soon for the next installment of Gonink Design and Print how we do things in the graphic design industry